Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review Tamasek ROM for OnePlus One. If you go to settings menu, about phone, you can find I am using Tamasek ROM version 11 which is based on CN 12.1 which is also based on the Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. And you can see other information on that one as well. So, talking about this ROM, uh, this is the first ROM which is based on uh, Linaro 5.1 and this ROM also incorporate the F2FS and EXT4 users so besides simply talking about the ROM I will show the exclusive features about the ROM you can see the notification area here it's nothing new and if you go to the settings menu on here you will get the Tamasek spare parts so this, these are the exclusive settings for these ROMs on first one it shows the Apple Circ bar click on that one so from here you can see the Apple you can see the apps here like you can select any apps and then it will launch and you can see the include apps if you want to add any more apps you can from there and you can also assign the trigger width and trigger area of that Apple circle bar the next one is the app bar if you enable the app bar swipe from here you can enable it and you can also set up the app bar content if you want to add any update any applications to the sidebar you can just do that and then save it go back and then swipe from here and you will get the app so that's about the app sidebar and you can position the app sidebar from here you can hide the labels and app transparency and the trigger areas so that's about the app bar next one is the clock widget this is the C clock alarm widgets so you can customize all the aspects of the clock and then next one is display and display you can see LCD density from here you can customize the DPA values next one is the gesture anywhere if you turn on the gesture anywhere you can also specify which location you want to add I'm talking about the left edge and I can add the gestures so if I add gestures to do any functions or launch any application so let's see I'm going to provide a C for launching that clock so if I touch here it will come and then when I draw C the clock application will launch so this is how the gesture thing works you can specify how many gestures you want so that's about the gesture anywhere which is pretty cool next one is the heads up notification if some notification came it will heads up like this and it will be very nice and you can also do blacklist applications and all next one is the lock screen in lock screen you can see the lock screen weather which is if you want to see the weather information on the lock screen you can add that and if you want to add any shortcuts to the lock screen you can also do that like if I am against uh, calculator if I go to this lock screen you can see the calculator here so that's how the middle screen option works and then bottom corners you can customize these bottom three applications you see on the not if, uh, launch, lock screen so you can customize that portion as well next one is the reason panel so this is the default reason panel you can see and you can if you want you can add the clear all recent button clear all tasks and then you can also position the this clear all button position and then if you want you can add the memory bar so you can see the memory details here and if you want you can customize it to the omni switch so if you turn on the omni switch so the reasons panel will be repli replaced with the omni switch and you can see the, by clicking this it will close all the application by clicking this it will close all application except the one running on that and then switch applications and other applications from here so that's about, about the Omni switch so you can swipe from here to access that also so that's all about the recent panel next one is the screen and animation so you can customize all the aspects of the ROM animations from here you will get the complete freedom to choose whatever animations you want for whatever kind of functions so that this ROM supports all that kind of customization Besides that, you can see all the regular settings in here, and then you can see the TRDS, which will allow you to choose between themes, or manual or with based on the light conditions. 
which is good and then teams option as normal and then you can see other notification manager buttons gestures use your status bar you can customize the status bar options from here and notification drawer and all the other regular options you use to find normal cm12 based roms and other than that this rom also supports the ota updates so you can download and check the updates and then you can download it from there which is also good so that's all about the settings option and you can see this is the these are the default application that comes with this rom which is the lollipop dialer and then messaging application browser and then as camera this rom comes with the default google camera uh, if you didn't like that you can uh, install any camera from the play store or you can flash any camera and here is the gallery application music and then this is the applications comes with this rom as a default so that's all about this rom if you want to know how to install this rom there is a link in the description to show you that just give it a try this rom is very really nice and smooth that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.